I'd like to introduce you to NetApp a little bit and show you how you can use NetApp as your back-end storage. So a little history about NetApp, just so you have a, an understanding. It was founded in 92, obviously, right? It's a premier leader in uh, enterprise storage. Now, the interesting thing about this was that uh, it got its initial funding from Sequoia Capital. Sequoia Capital from Don Valentine. So Don Valentine also funded Cisco. He also funded um, other numerous uh, ventures. So how does this come into maybe the Silicon Valley history? So. Don used to work for Fairchild Semiconductor, and Fairchild Semiconductor was a spawn basically off of the Traitorous 8, which worked for Shockley Semiconductor, um, and the, that really what started the, um, the IT industry, or something like, variants of IT industry really, you know, and um, the semiconductor industry, if you will, to be better, uh, better an example of that. So, that that's interesting history on that so sequoia capital and um so that's the cool part about uh netapp i think you know the cool part the history you know basically how how, how it started um now let's talk about you know why it's important commvault related right now commvault doesn't back up to it so it does it's not a it's just a software company right they don't they don't typically have a backend storage like an EMC data domain, like a quantum DXI, like a NetApp. And that's where NetApp comes in, in involved in here. When you're looking for a job and you're looking for um, to weed out your competition, so you want to separate yourself from your other colleagues, basically. For instance, let's take this job. This is in Hungary. A little, uh, if you speak Magyar, you know what this. Uh, this means I guess but so that is a systems administrator a NetApp um, on NetApp so if you know Com if it has any keyword in here about Commvault and you know Commvault and you know a little bit about NetApp you're really gonna help your chances of getting that uh, job and once Commvault comes out with their appliance because right now they have a, a ComServe is a, is a Windows box so once they come out with their uh, ComServe which is a uh, Linux-based com serve, they're really going to get a lot of market share. Reason being, you know, most other products, Net Backup, uh, for example, like Net, well, well, not most other, but other products, backup products such as Net Backup, um, use Linux uh, for their let's call the master master server. And you know, if you're a Windows admin or you're an administrator and you want to cut down the amount of time it takes to manage a box you you want Linux because it doesn't have to be patched a lot or or installed patches you don't have to boot it a lot at all so you don't have to really touch it all the time um, so that's really the benefit by using uh, using Linux versus Windows and unfortunately Commvault doesn't have a, a Linux ComServe yet but I, maybe they're working on it <laughs>